Hi, I'm Chef Carl, food whisperer, and welcome to my home. Today we're going to make portobello mushrooms and shrimp two ways, Florentine and shrimp dish on. Chef Carl, food whisperer, taking the mystery out of cooking. Okay, first of all, I, outside I have these sanitized wipes. Obviously I'm wearing a mask, and I got uh, bleach water over here, so I'm not wearing gloves, but I am cautious. So, I'm going to take a portobello mushroom cap. Add some nicely poached shrimp. And we're on top of it with the Dijon butter. Now, my Dijon butter is a cup of softened butter or margarine. I use this uh, butter. I can't believe it's not butter. Two tablespoons of chopped garlic. One and a half slices of diced clean and crust off the bread. A quarter cup of French bread crumbs. Two shots of sherry, cream sherry. Parsley flakes, flakes, not flakes, and black pepper. I have some made up ahead here. Now, if you want this to be vegan, just don't use the shrimp. They have this vegan butter, which I so if you had the mushroom cap, vegan butter. The mushroom caps I marinated in cream sherry, a little salt and pepper, and garlic. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of paprika or my rub. And we're going to pop that in the grill as soon as I finish the shrimp florentine. What I have here, we're going to make the shrimp florentine. I use 16 to 21 count uh, Gulf Coast shrimp. I like the uh, farm raised in Illinois, uh, America or Gulf Coast shrimp. And we squeeze out some frozen diced uh, chopped spinach. You add a quarter cup of diced yellow pepper or red pepper, a quarter cup of breadcrumbs, a shot of anisette, it's licorice flavored, a little, a half shot of anisette, half shot of balsamic vinegar, a half a cup of parmesan cheese, some, some uh, shredded mozzarella cheese and that's going to go be on the top, and we also put in the mix one teaspoon, tablespoon of chopped garlic, and a little bit of Weber's herb and garlic and we're going to mix that all up so I'm going to mix this all up and this will make you uh, enough for two or three so I'm only going to cook off one now Put some nice jumbo shrimp. I just chunked it because it's easier to eat that way. And again, I got sanitizer and sanitizer wax. Easier if I use my hands. And this is what we're going to have shrimp Florentine and shrimp Dijon. Shrimp Dijon, shrimp Florentine. Now let's get these on the grill. Start them up top. No, I'll start them here. What the heck? And move them up top. Okay. 
sit there for about five minutes. So what I had done is I had put these up on the top rack for about four minutes to let them cook through because they're so thick. I've taken them back down. This is the shrimp Dijon. This is a shrimp Florentine. I got a zester. Gonna just brighten it up with a little fresh lemon zest. And that, my friend, is it. Don't forget to subscribe if you would, please. Let me know what you like to see me make. Hit the bell so you'll know when the videos come out. They come out about every other week, every other Saturday. Maybe I'm sneaking an early one. Who knows? And it's hi to all the food technologists and people from Washburn Chef School and Little Lady Foods and Hershey Chocolates and Farmland Foods. All my part of my research and development jobs. All right. So why don't we taste it? Or have a little sample. Put I use a separate fork for each one, and then you can let your wife. There you go. Got Thank it. you. Mm -hmm. They should be good. If not, I'll be out of town. <laughs>